Hello and welcome to a brand new crafting video with myself Anthony Minnis. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I created this beautiful rose using Medina air drying polymer clay and hearty clay. It really is nice and easy and I'll show you step by step how I made this really pretty rose. If you like the contents of my videos please click on the like button and if you haven't done so already why not subscribe to my channel and hit on the notifications button as well. This will enable you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's get making this beautiful rose. So first off we're going to be using some Medina air dry polymer clay. Now the polymer clay comes to you sort of like in a white colour but we actually want to make a pink rose. So what we're going to be doing is mixing some hearty clay in with it which is the magenta one. Now before you actually get any of the air drying polymer clay out of the packet simply pop the packet into a pocket. Basically that's going to give it a little bit of body heat and make it a lot more easier to actually work with. Leave it in your pocket for about half an hour and then you'll find it's a lot lot easier to work with. Now what we're going to be doing on this one is we're going to be mixing some hearty magenta clay in with that and that's going to then basically just colour it. So just knead it in just using your fingers to produce a nice even pink colour throughout. So now we have our coloured clay I've just taken a piece of florist wire, I've twisted it and then I've just produced a little hook in the top. Now with your polymer clay and your hearty clay mixed together, just create yourself a ball. Okay, as near as you possibly can to a ball and then just pop that in and then just push that down inside the clay ball. Okay, you don't want to pull it all the way through and then from this side just press the clay in and then hold that into position so we're not applying any pressure with this hand here we're just squeezing or pinching the clay okay on this side so basically what you want to create is almost like a tear shape in the clay okay so once you actually have that then just leave that to dry that's going to take about 24 hours to fully dry but if we basically tried to make the rose as it was when we put the petals on it would actually squash that and then it would give you a funny shape rose. So after 24 hours this would be completely dry and it is just like a rock. So unlike the hearty clay that is a paper air drying clay this is more like a plastic okay so once it is dry it is rock solid. So now what we need to do is mix up some more Medina and some more of the pink hearty clay and then we're going to roll that out. So once you're happy with the colour then just place it onto a non-stick mat and then using a nylon rolling pin because a nylon rolling pin won't stick to the polymer clay. So just roll that out so keep on lifting it just turning it round and then just keep on going. So we're after a thickness of no more than a millimetre. So just keep on, like I say, lifting that up, twisting it round. So once your polymer clay is to the right thickness, just place it back onto the mat. Now we're going to be using two cutters here. We've got the small one and the larger one. For the centre of the rose, we're just going to be using the smaller one. Let's just place that into there and then just press down. And just take away the rest. You can scrumple that back up for the moment because we will need to just store that away whilst we work on this one here. So now you have your piece of polymer clay cut. Then just carefully just lift that from your non-stick mat and then just get a foam pad like so. Okay. Now what you want to make sure is that each of the petals okay, is actually separate from one another so the cutter has cut all the way through and then you're ready to go. So I'm going to be using a metal ball tool okay, 
and then just from the center or of the um, petal then just roll out okay just very very gently just roll that clay out and then just keep on going until you're happy so you'll notice straight away that it's actually just ruffling the edge which is absolutely perfect that's the sort of look we're after and you can see how much the clay has actually stretched from the original piece so twist that round and perform the same sort of treatment to the rest of those petals. So once you actually roll that out, just make sure you can easily lift it up from your mat. Okay, and then what we're going to do is just going to mark each petal. We want to go quite low where we actually mark it. And this is basically just to number each of the petals because there is a particular method that you actually want to wrap this part of the clay around our little bud. So I'm just going to mark it with just one mark there, two there, three there, four there, and then five. Now you're not going to see any of those marks when you actually make your flower. So now take this piece and then we're just going to apply a little bit of water, okay, and this will help actually stick our clays together. Okay, so just make sure you have some water on the brush and then just wet just the center part. Now with your florist wire find the very center of that and then just place that through now the order you want to put this this in or, or wrap the actual petals around the bud is basically odd numbers and then even numbers okay so let's just go with number one to start with and you can see we're just going to wrap that round where the clay joins back in itself then just dampen it slightly okay and then just pop that one so that one was one we then want three so again just apply a little bit of water okay and let's just pop that there press that down like I say wherever the clay actually joins itself just dampen it a little bit and that's going to help with the sticking process. So we're not applying too much pressure actually at the top there. And then finally we have petal number five. So again, just grab a little bit of water and just pop that on there. Wrap that one up. Okay. Like so. And then the remaining two petals, just stick those on as well. Okay, so this is the very, very centre of the rose. So it's quite a tight little bud there. And finally, this petal here. Now, if you're unfortunate and your petal actually falls off, okay, don't worry. You can just place it back and then just add some water to help stick it. Okay, so like I say, no pressure on the top part, but just use your fingers on the bottom there. And you can see when you start to apply a little bit of moisture to the Medina clay, it goes a little bit mushy and therefore it's easier to manipulate and actually really give you a nice tight bond. So once you're happy with all of those petals, then just place that aside, okay, upside down, and then you can then cut your second layer of petals. Okay, 
So now we can just remove that and we again just add a little bit of water to your mat beforehand so it makes it easier. With your piece that's already started to dry there, just again find the center, okay, and then just pop that in. Okay, so we're going to go again odd numbers 135 to start with. So where one is here, just want to make sure that where we actually wrap this round, it's sort of like halfway okay where an original petal has been folded in on itself so i'm just going to use a brush here so there is number one okay so again i'm just going to pull that up and just manipulate that okay just pressing on the bottom part so that was petal number one then we want to turn it around very carefully add a little bit more water okay and this is now petal number three. So just give it a slight tug upwards and then just position that and really press that in. And then we have petal number five, which is this one here. Again, just a little bit more water. Okay, like so. Slight tug and then just wrap that one round. Okay, like so. Now is the time to start just manipulating where you want those petals to be. Let me just go back round again. So we've got the two. Petal number two is just there. Okay. And again, just apply the pressure at the bottom, not at the top. And then finally, we have our last one there. Okay. So. Again, just go along the bottom there. And if you want to start just using a tool just to go in there and start separating those petals, now is the time to do it. So in between when I'm actually rolling the cloud, I'm popping it back inside some clean film and then I'm putting it back in my pocket just so it makes it easier to work with. Now what we're going to do, we have our original color there, which is the, the pink. We're going to add some white to it. Because with um, a real rose, what you'll find is that the further out the petals go from the centre, the lighter they become. So I'm just going to use some white clay. Okay, just make sure you haven't got any clean film wrapper on there. Okay, and there we go. And I'm just going to take a bit of that. Let's just go for a little bit less of the white just to start with. And then we're just going to mix those two together. So we're just after a lighter, slightly lighter shade than what we have here. just as we did before and then get your original find the center pop that through and then you can start by putting petal number one which is this one just here so just find the position so again it's basically we want that petal to like wrap halfway round where that join is so half this side and half that side so again just use a little bit of water okay as long as the polymer clay is not totally dry you can add the water to enable it to stick to itself If you find that your your petals are like drooping the wrong way and just simply turn it upside down for a little bit of time and again just going to go in there just using our fingers just to make sure that that's nice and smooth on the bottom there 
So we're applying all the pressure at the bottom, not the top, so we do not want to squash those petals. So go all the way and then just start to smooth it as far up as you can, okay, without squashing detail part of the petals. So there is our rose and it's taking shape pretty quickly now. So again just leave that to dry upside down and then we can go on to our fourth layer. more just add a little bit of water and get your brush ready take your original and then find the center and just pop that through now where it comes to actually the positioning of the petals this time you can just go around entirely as you wish okay so just going to add some water onto there I'm gonna go quite high up now and just give that a slight tug and then just really press that down okay like so so you can go all the way around this time okay so just the next available petal in there so you will find that as I said because the petals are now getting larger every single time sort of thing and you're getting further out then you just make sure that you're actually supporting those with your fingers from the underside. Okay, so just keep on pressing those round. Okay, and then just press that one. Okay, there we go. So we're going to add just one final layer. Obviously you can keep on going as many layers as you want. Obviously the more layers, the fuller the rose is going to get. making sure I've got the pressure on there. So I'm just going to use a ball tool, okay, just on the bottom side there, just to add a little bit of pressure to those petals. Just make sure everything is stuck down nicely in position. Okay, there is our rose as it stands. So, as I said, you can go out fuller if you should so wish. Okay. So, once you're happy, then you can go in with a little spatula slide tool and you can just start just teasing a couple of those petals just down a little bit. Okay, so this is how it's going to dry eventually okay so if you see any petals that need the manipulation just go in there now and just start to position them where you want them to be okay now as long as you haven't applied too much pressure to these petals You'll see they're all really nice and free to actually work with individually. If you have applied too much pressure, then you may find it a little bit more tricky to get the petals in the position that you want. Okay, I'm going to leave my little rose like that to dry. So again, just dry it in an upside down position and then just keep on checking it from time to time 
And then when you feel that the clay is starting to dry, then flip it up into the upright position. So for the next step, we're going to be making the calyx, which is the green part at the bottom where all of those petals like come together. So we're going to want some green clay. So it's up to you. You can use any type of medium you like to actually get that to green. You could use obviously some hearty clay if you have some green clay about. So once you have the green, just roll that into a little bit of a ball, okay, and then using a hole in our mat, okay, I'm just going to press the clay through there, okay, like so, and we're going to lift that up so we have this, which is known as the, the Mexican hat. So I'm just going to thin the clay out just with my fingers at the moment, so we really pronounce that and then I'm just going to use the cutter so the center part is where the little piece that we actually press into the mat like sticks out okay press down like so then pull from this way okay and then pop that back onto our mat and then just using a ball tool just really just press down there and it's just widening okay those little bits of the calyx okay so that's sort of the finish that you're going to want to achieve right so bringing our rows back in and the reason it's got a hook on it is because it's hanging upside down at the moment. So just flatten that one out, okay, like so. And then what you need to do, just get a little bit of water, and again just apply it around the base, like so. And then we want to thread very carefully this part into the centre of the calyx, and then through that part there okay so it just pops out like so and then just very very carefully just push that all the way down so it's like that now it's up to you you can add a little bit more clay around that calyx if you should so wish but now you just want to just press Press that down very carefully. Obviously the water is going to help that stick. Okay, you don't have to press right to the end of where the calyx is, you know. You can just twist that round like so. Let's just give it a little little curl so it's bits of the calyx. And then just with your fingers, just go round there, just so it gives that type of a shape. And then again, it's a case of just popping that upside down. So I'm going to pop my hook back on there, and I'm just going to hang that one up. And we'll come back to that in about a day's time.
So now all of the leaves there have actually been wired in. I'm just going to add a little bit more colour to the actual rose head itself. So what I've done here, I've just got some acrylic paint. I'm just going to pop that on the sponge brush, okay? And I'm just going to quite simply, I'm just going to go around, okay? Just quite gently, all the way around. And that's just going to really bring out all of those petals that make up the rose head, okay? So just support the rose underneath and just go all the way around. So you're not going to do this in one go, okay? So it's just like dry brushing as such. So just keep on going around and building up that white until you're happy that you've covered all of those petals. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video where I've shown you how to make a rose using Medina air drying polymer clay. If you like the contents of this video, please click on that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber, why not subscribe to my channel by hitting that button along with a notifications button. This will enable you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Happy crafting. And I hope to see you again soon.